All right, guys, we're back, back in the building, back with some more boxing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and all that good stuff. Now, guys, I'm still here in Colorado Springs. Um, I'm actually leaving today, so I got to get packed, and I uh, got a lot of different things I got to get done today. But I uh, wanted to uh, touch bases with you guys on the situation. I uh, wish, of course, Stevenson and Frank Martin. Uh, we talked about that a little bit yesterday. I was a little reluctant to say that Frank Martin was ducking Shakur Stevenson due to the fact that we hadn't heard anything from his camp, uh, nothing from Errol Spence Jr. Man Down Promotions uh, or the PBC about why Frank Martin actually pulled out of the fight. Now, there's a lot of speculation going on that you know he's possibly uh, trying to set up a fight with Javante Tang Davis. That's the rumor that's going on. Uh, there's been no confirmation on that. Uh, we still haven't heard anything from Frank Martin. And uh, I think that would be the only case where it's not a duck move. Uh, because him fighting Javante Tank Davis, I think that would be more of a financial thing. Maybe he thinks he can make more money fighting Javante Tank Davis. Uh, Javante Tank Davis being known in a lot of circles as the face, the new face of boxing. Yeah, that's going to be a bigger fight than the Shakur Stevenson fight. Uh, but if that's not the case, the only way it is not a duck move in my book, if if he's had an injury or something like that, uh, just pulling out of the fight to be pulling out of the fight. Uh, we deserve an explanation for that. Uh, my assumption is if it's not Javante Tank Davis, maybe his team didn't think he was ready for the fight. Maybe they, you know, they seen something there that he's not ready for the, the, the caliber of opponent that Shakur Stevenson is. Uh, <coughs> we did hear Frank Martin talk about knocking out Shakur Stevenson. So maybe it's not a case where he doesn't believe that he can beat Shakur. Maybe his team doesn't believe he's, he's ready yet. So... <sighs> Excuse me, guys. But like I said, maybe that's the case. But a duck move is a duck move uh, if he's not fighting Javante, if he's not injured. I, I hate to say that about Frank Martin because, you know, he's a up and comer. Uh, he's, he's a solid opponent, very athletic, uh, crispy jab, uh, lots of power. You know, I think he's a force to be reckoned with at 135. I know he had some some trouble in his last fight, but uh you know, being a young fighter, you can plug up those holes in your game, but this isn't a good look for him if he's, you know, agreed to all the terms he was going to make uh, his biggest payday ever, a million dollars, and then all of a sudden you pull out of the fight and then you don't give the fans an explanation. Uh, the fans deserve an explanation. You know, just like I, I always talk about the fighters should be respected, fans should be respected too uh, when it comes to stuff like this. We should be we should know what's going on. Not everything behind the scenes, but with something like this. Why now is this fight not taking place? Why uh, get everybody excited about this fight? You, you're talking about this fight and then you just pull out of the fight without any explanations. I don't know, guys. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think in the comments section. Uh, do you think it's uh, a duck move? Uh, do you think he's, you know, trying to get a fight with Javante Tank Davis? you think he's injured? You guys let me know how you feel about that in the comments section. It's the ZMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.